Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery again, and today's review is going to be on the uh, Zebra R301 Rollerball Pens. I'm going to compare the earlier original model and the newer current made model. Thank you Mr. Legoman. So let's take a look. Everyone's pretty much familiar with Zebra's 301 uh, ballpoint the very popular steel and plastic accents ballpoint as well as pencil but if you are not aware uh, or don't check that much Zebra's web page they have now released uh, inside of this range a roller ball as well as a highlighter pen and a well marker pen actually not a pen and a uh, fountain pen with a steel nib but let's take a look on this earlier 1990s maybe late 80s I'm not quite sure uh, rollerball version and the current one this is the current one so let's take a look first at this earlier one this earlier one is Japanese made when back when uh, Zebra did most of their products in Japan let's take a quicker zoom if you take a look it says RB Zebra R301 Rollerball Japan we can notice steel shiny steel clip very rigid plastic uh, black plastic uh, grip section uh, black plastic on the top here of the cap on the side here on the back says Japan and then end tip as well plastic the barrel might seem like it's steel but it isn't pretty much only the cap is steel the tip is metal screwable metal you can screw it to change the refill but the barrel is plastic coated with a shiny effect that gives it a sort of steel look so it's very lightweight itself the pen itself is lightweight and the weight is more uh, towards the cap if I cap the pen the weight tends to go more over the cap but if I post it which was designed to be posted makes a little click and there we have the pen so this is the earlier version now very rare I actually uh, found this on a stationery shop kind of forgotten so this is a very rare earlier from the 1990s if not late 80s probably how do we change the refill we unscrew from the top and when then we pull out the refill Zebra used to make uh, rollerball refills like this one as you can see the size is pretty much the universal rollerball refill size here I have a, another one from Zebra I was only able to find blue ink the refill for this pen was the A100 also made in Japan plastic barrel um, very deep blue ink so this was not gel back then they did not have gel gel pretty much became popular around 1994 or 1995 and so on so earlier we basically had to use only regular rollerball refills so this was a regular blue ink rollerball refill made in Japan nothing extraordinary uh, the shade is a uh, nice blue uh, unfortunately this is empty so I cannot make a test about it but the good thing about this pen this earlier version is you can fit nicely a a pilot G2 refill so if you have any uh, pen that uses universal rollerball refills you can pretty much stick in a pilot rollerball refill so that applies to this early version of the Zebra rollerball it's still it's still closest shot it has a very nice look modern look to it and goes nicely with the set of pen ballpoint pen and pencil so yes this is pretty much a very rare sight again this is plastic so this does not weigh pretty much the weight tends to go on the front from the cap so now let's compare with the newer one 
This is the newer one currently made and sold. This newer updated version is made in China. This one is full steel. You have the steel cap, shiny metal clip. They now have, have edged zebra on the clip. Still has the plastic ridges over here, but except for chrome bands on the side, here on the ridge. A wider plastic end part over here on the bottom. I don't know if you can notice, it says China. So it's made now in China. Full steel uh, barrel, same name, Zebra R301, RB as in rollerball. If I uncap the pen and I post it here on the back, also makes a click sound and distributes the weight. But what is different on this newer one than the older one? The older one, as I said, used A100 refills, which have long been uh, discontinued as um, Zebra doesn't make uh, rollerball refills anymore. They do gel refills and they do mostly ball points. And they also make a steel uh, fountain pen. But what happened with a rollerball like this one? Well, this has a very wide tip. But what's so special or odd about this pen? Well, this pen uses cartridges, just like uh, their fountain pen. But their cartridges are called R301. Their uh, fountain pen has a V, V301. So you can pretty much fit either the fountain or the rollerball pen cartridges between each other. So this is a proprietary cartridge pen. So this rollerball, what they made is a rollerball that uses cartridges from a fountain pen rather than a disposable rollerball cartridge. So this pen writes more wider and maybe if you uh, reuse a dry, uh, dry rollerball cartridge, you can refill it with some other color ink. So let's take a look how this newer version writes. This is the Zebra R301 rollerball pen. This is the Made in China newer one. This is the steel, all steel body including cap cap 2 so this writes writes like a medium medium point rollerball it is very liquidy very smooth again this is pretty much as if it were a fountain pen with a rollerball tip as you can notice it is very comfortable to use but again this is very thick ink, so don't expect to write behind the uh, paper. I think you will rather prefer a gel pen to take notes on both sides of a paper. If you don't usually take notes or write behind the paper, a uh, sheet of paper, then it's okay. For those, for that matter, that's an okay. The pen itself feels really comfortable, solid, comfortable with its plastic grip over here, does not slip. The steel parts give it a nice modern and contemporary look and again it complements really nicely with the full zebra steel range so do I recommend it? yes it is a very uh, comfortable writing pen comfortable writing rollerball so Yes, I do recommend this pen if you find it. Again, this is the newer one and this is the older one. Both are refillable and recommended for writing purposes. I hope you like this refill and review, sorry. <laughs> I don't know where my mind is, but uh, thanks for watching this review. Feel free to share your comments and uh, keep following for more uh, new newer uh, reviews for more pens and stationery thank you for watching bye bye